Okay, two criteria I'm very focused it. Firstly, is the asset quality. This is the more important. And secondly, is their management, the transparency. I can tell you, I can share one very important skill I'm learning. The management uh, is very important. If you want to know this, ma this management is can be trust or not, go to join their AGM. Because the, before the COVID, all is physical AGM. I can go to join. I can ask a lot of questions. I can uh, feel their management is uh, transparency, is honest or not. Body language. <laughs> uh. You ask the question, they cannot answer it. Look. They'll Even some, I can now. share. I can share you one experience which I still remember uh, until now, lah. Uh, okay. I asked. I asked a question about the to the CEO, but the CEO looked like he don't know. He don't know. He don't know what's going on. Uh, maybe in the public he will answer you, lah. You can ask him privately, lah. After the AGM go to look, hey, Mister CEO, can I ask you some question? Blah blah blah, blah a little bit. Mm. Then he will answer you, lah. If you public, you speak in the mic or with the mic, lah. I think he will answer you, <laughs> because sometimes this is a sensitive question. <laughs> Before you invest, la, you better go to the asset, go to have a face to see the physical asset. Because that time when I see one of the read, eh, the dividend is very high. It looks like very nice. Mm -hmm. I go to invest it. But when I after I go to the physical physical asset to, op, mm -hmm. to observation, la, I think, oh, this uh, actually this is a very lousy. I quickly to sell it. I will invest the property, the read, I can see there more. I can see the by the eyes, eyeball is better because I can check, I can value, I can chart this, I can just this a good asset or bad asset. You can go to walk, uh, drive your car, go to see around. Is this a good location? Their tenant is this always looking for new tenants or not? If the tenant is well, uh, always the same tenants, that's mean this is a long time tenants already. No need to worry about like, about it, like, about the industry rate. Depend on the tenants. Uh, if the tenants is a big tenants, if they need a very big location, if they very need a very big space, that means this kind of tenant they won't move very easily. Because you want to find a place to replace it, it's not easy. Uh, would you say that like starting with the REITs is actually the simplest and easiest uh, stocks to actually start with in the stock market? Yes, because in you invest in the stock market, you have to know a, a lot of the corporate exercise, uh, what they were doing like this. Uh, and the rate is the uh, it doesn't have a lot of corporate exercise, very less. You just need to understand full you fully understand the rate, the corporate exercise, then you are more easy to step, uh, to understand other company. Because the most simply is read really. If you cannot understand the read, then other rest you also can you 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 will more you find a very hard time, uh, more difficult. Yeah, yes. very hard, very hard time. And it is not hard. Though. In Malaysia, we only have 18 reads. And then if you filter it down to only the malls, and then you can start with just a few malls just to read the annual report, then you kind of like have confidence. And because of the price volatility is not so much uh, without COVID, right? When it is without COVID, then uh, your, your yield is kind of like uh, very stable. And dollar cost averaging, you will hardly lose money. So I think it is a very forgiving kind of uh, investment and uh, well-managed by professional who manage the commercial properties for you and very liquid, easy to start. And you don't need to fork out a lot of capitals. I guess mm -hmm. it is a much better choice than a lot of other alternative investment out there.